banking conditions in the Ninth District for 2015 were relatively flat, and I'm forecasting relatively similar performance for 2016. Hi, my name is Ron Feldman. I'm the Executive Vice President here at the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis, and I'm going to do two things today. First, I'm going to talk about performance for banks in the Ninth District in 2015, and then I'm going to talk about my forecast for 2016. Generally speaking, conditions were relatively flat for 2015, so not that much change relative to what we saw in 2014. And I'm forecasting uh, basically a similar year in 2016, although I think it could be a little worse. Before we get started, uh, let's talk a little bit about what the Ninth District is. It consists of the states of Montana, North and South Dakota, Minnesota, the western portion of Wisconsin, and the upper peninsula of Michigan. We've got a lot of data on the district and banks at our website, and you can see the link here. So I'm going to talk first about uh, a forecast I made in 2015 and talk about how performance uh, was relative to that forecast. Then I'm going to talk about 2015 just sort of in absolute terms, not compared to the forecast, but just compared to its, its just describing it as it is. And then I'll talk about my forecast for 2016. So this time last year, I made a forecast for what was going to happen in 2015. And generally speaking, and these are ranges, so uh, there's a high and a low for each of the forecasts. They're for three variables. They're for profitability, uh, loan growth, and problem loans. And the forecast for almost all states, for almost all three of these variables, was within the forecast. So that's a good forecast. But they generally were at the worst end of the forecast. So what does that mean? That means that profitability was at the lower end of the forecast, generally speaking. Loan growth was typically at the lower end, so loans, the change in loans from year to year was at the lower end of what I forecasted. And problem loans were generally a bit higher or, or at the worse end of the forecast. So now let me talk a little bit about not relative to the forecast I made, and I'm going to give some examples of this in uh, some slides at the end. Let me just talk about the performance in and of itself. Generally speaking, uh, the performance was no change. There wasn't a lot of change in 2015 relative to 2014. Now, for profits, that wasn't bad because, or I'm sorry, for loan uh, quality, that wasn't bad because loan quality is very, very strong right now. There are a few problem loans. But for profits, that's not great. Even though profits, generally speaking, are at historical norms, I think banks are hoping that profits will go up. And the fact that they're sort of stuck where they've been um, for maybe the last 10, 15 years is, uh, I think, a source of frustration. So profit levels for district banks, generally speaking, were where they were in 2014. Again, there's always some exceptions for some states, but it's generally where it was. And they're at the historical norm. So relative to, let's say, 2001 to 2015, that's the level uh, um, that they're at right now, relative to the median level for that period of time. Loan growth was the one area that did vary quite a bit by state. It's up a lot in some states, up a little less in some states, maybe down a little bit. But generally speaking, it's at the historical norm for each of the states. Now, problem loans weren't changed much um, relative to 2014. They were a little worse in some of the states. But they're way, way below normal. So basically what's going on is we've got, um, we had a lot of problem loans during the financial crisis. That's what defined it. And now we have really much fewer, and that's where we're at today. We haven't seen an increase in problem loans. So what are we looking at for 2016? So generally speaking, I'm looking for another flat year. So that is, by flat I mean the change from uh, 2015 to 2016 will not be very large. It could be a little bit up, a little bit down, but it's going to be right around where it was today. Although, if I had to lean one way or the other, I'd say I'm ex I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little worse than flat. So profitability, I'm expecting to stay right where it was, so this would be the second or third year where it hasn't moved very much. Loan growth, I'm not expecting a lot of movement. Generally speaking, if I'm forecasting that if you had a really, really strong year in loan growth last year, then you're going to have a weaker year this year. If you had a weaker year last year, you're going to have a bit of a stronger year. But on average, it's sort of not much change. And I'm expecting it to stay right around the historical norms for most states. Problem loans, I think flat to worsening. There, I'm expecting it. I, I would put a little bit more emphasis on the worsening part. Now, why, what's driving this forecast? Where is this coming from? There's a couple of things that are key uh, in my thinking. The first is there's a lot of banks in the Ninth District that have got exposure to uh, industries that are going to be under pressure in this year. 
So for example, agriculture or energy. Now it might be that agriculture has a great year, that energy has a great year, but I think most forecasts for 2016 show a little pressure on borrowers uh, in both of those sectors. And as a result, that's gonna feed through to banks. Second, uh, banks make most of their money, or at least community banks, those are the ones we're gonna be looking at, make most of their money by getting in deposits, making loans, and then basically uh, earning money on the difference. That margin or that spread is under pressure because rates are really low. And this is not a comment on about what the Federal Reserve is gonna be doing about rates, I'm not talking about that. It's just no, no matter what it is, it looks like rates are gonna be low for some time. That puts pressures on banks. On a little bit of a more positive side, the economic forecast from the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis for the district, it's, it's, I would say it's positive, but even that forecast is showing some Fed headwinds, uh, some of which I talked about before. Maybe just a other quick reminder about what the forecast is. First of all, there's a lot of uncertainty in any forecast, so even that's why we give a range, and even within the range, uh, we should recognize that this is a hard thing to hit. And we're really still in a post-crisis era, so we're in a little bit of unknown territory. Uh, and finally, there's just not much of a forecast record really anywhere for people to be forecasting out bank profits uh, or loan growth or, or problem loans in the way we're doing it. So it's a little bit on the frontier. Uh, what kind of approach do we do? We have a model, but it's really a judgmental forecast. So we have an empirical model, but I, I uh, temper that with conversations with bankers, with, uh, with households, with what we're seeing on the supervision side. So I would really characterize it as being judgmental. And we're going to be looking at the median for the three uh, variables I already mentioned. So let me just give a couple of examples. I really can't walk through every part of the forecast for every bank, and I've tried to summarize it, but let's show a couple of pictures that'll uh, help explain what the forecast is about. So here we're looking at Montana bank profitability. So what you're looking at is uh, the line for profitability. There's a red um, sort of barbell shaped. That was my forecast for last year, for 2015. And as you can see, it's on the bottom end of the barbell. So that's where I said I generally hit the forecast, but on the lower end. Then if you look at the green barbell, that's showing you where I think uh, the forecast is gonna be for next year. And you could, if you look at basically the middle of the green bar, that's my best estimate of where it's gonna be. And you can see it's not too far off the historical norm, it's a little lower, and it's not a big difference for today. So Montana, in some sense, is a typical state for the forecast for profitability. What about for loan growth? Here you're looking at North Dakota. You can see, this, just to make the point that this is a hard thing to forecast, it goes up and it goes down, so there's a lot of movement here. But right now it's at the historical norm. You can see it was at the lower end of the historical norm. I mean, sorry, the lower end of the range for 2015. Again, recall that that red barbell is the range. And then if you see what I'm forecasting for 2016, uh, you can see that I'm expecting it to go a little bit higher than the historical norm, um, but not hugely different. And finally, problem loans. This is for the state of Minnesota. First of all, uh, here, a worse outcome is something that's at the higher end of the range, right? Because the higher the number, the worse it is, the more problem loans. You can see that relative to the historical norm, it's much below it. And finally, you can see that compared the red bar to the green bar, I'm expecting this to, it could be flat, but it could also go up a little bit. That would make sense to me given the issues I've already identified. So let me wrap this up. Uh, I'm expecting for the district a year that's fairly similar to 2015, a relatively flat year, although I think it could be a little worse. And uh, please look forward to any questions or comments you have. Thank you.